Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back again with a updated RealClearPolling.com election map. As you can tell, they updated again. Donald J. Trump's 48.6% in the top battlegrounds to Kamala Harris's 47.4%. I'm President Ross, and I'm Bags, and he's hosting the video for today because I'm tired. And we are going to fill in that beautiful election map thanks to RealClearPolling.com. Come. All right, baby. Open up that election map. Let's fill it in. We have for the Democrats, Kamala Harris and Timothy Bloto Biden Walls are the blues, and those states that are for Democrats are Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, New Mexico, Colorado, some parts of Nebraska, Minnesota, Illinois, New York, Virginia, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, the District of Washington, D.C., Maine's 1st District and Maine at large are all blue for Kamala Harris. Republicans are red. That's Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Those states that are red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance, it's Hillbilly Eulogy, are Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, most of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and the 2nd District of Maine are red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Hillbilly eulogy making the current vote demographic. Kamala Harris's 226 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 219 electoral votes. With the 7 swing slash battleground states remaining to be filled in. First up, we've got Nevada. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 1.7 lead in Nevada over Kamala Harris, making Nevada and its six electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. We have Arizona, according to RealClearPolling.com. Trump has a 2.7 lead over Kamala Harris, making Arizona and its 11 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Then we have Wisconsin with its 10 electoral votes, according to RealClearPolling.com. Harris has a 0.1 lead over Donald J. Trump in Wisconsin. It went from being a 0.3, and in some polls that we've reviewed, a 0.5 lead. It's now down to 0.1 in Wisconsin, making Wisconsin still by a slim margin blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walsh, a.k.a. blow to Biden. Michigan, according to RealClearPolling.com, Michigan's 15 electoral votes has Harris at 0.6 above Donald J. Trump, a slim lead, making Michigan the most liberal of all the swing and battleground states. Blue for Kamala Harris and blow to Biden walls. Next up, we have Georgia with its 16 electoral votes. Georgia, according to RealClearPolling.com, has Trump in a 2.6 lead thanks to his Hurricane response and Elon Musk setting up Starlink and bringing food, trucks, water, and supplies to the people there during the hurricanes. That makes Georgia, with Trump's 2.6 lead, red for Donald J. Trump, Elon Musk, and J.D. Vance's hillbilly eulogy. Next up, we got North Carolina with its 16 electoral votes. North Carolina has Trump in a 1.7 lead, according to RealClearPolling.com, making North Carolina Red for Donald J. Trump. As we have it right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have Kamala Harris's 251 to Donald J. Trump's 268 electoral votes with 19 left with Pennsylvania's 19 electoral votes. This is the state that will decide the 2024 election. This year, Pennsylvania, all eyes are on you. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 0.4 lead in Pennsylvania, making Pennsylvania red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance, making Donald J. Trump the winner of the 2024 election and your president once again. Kamala Harris has 251 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 287. As always, I'm your highly illustrious, forever perfect prognosticator, President Ross, and I'm Bags. And we are out in.